Got a lot of important documents there, Scott. Yeah. I think I gotta take them back, though. Turns out theft is illegal. How are you gonna bring them all back? Guess I'll use this attaché case. Materials for this prop include a thin narrow box, spare cardboard, aluminum tape, carpet tape, Velcro squares with adhesive backs, silver spray paint, scissors, a ruler, weed cloth, and a pen or pencil. Cut the box into two halves and tape any sides that might be coming apart back together. Each of these halves will become one side of the case. Using the ruler and a pencil, mark out a one inch perimeter on the inside of the box and cut it out. Depending on your box, you may need to manufacture an additional side with spare cardboard. Wrap the entire side with aluminum tape. If you can't find any at the dollar store, duct tape will be fine. Take one of the large pieces of spare cardboard and cut it so that it fits snugly to the inside edges of the case. Take the cardboard back out and wrap it in the weed cloth. Be sure the cloth is stretched tight on the face of the board. Secure the weed cloth to the cardboard using tape or stapler. Repeat all previous steps for the other half of your case. And now it's time for paint. Always be safe when handling spray paint, use goggles and masks at all times. Paint the weed cloth faced cardboard with silver spray paint. If you used duct tape on the case frame, you might want to coat that in silver as well. Place the weed cloth faced cardboard into the frame. Line the inside of your case with some of the leftover weed cloth and secure it to the sides of the frame with some of the aluminum tape. For the case holder, cut out a handle shape from some spare cardboard, making the ends extra long. Fold them to create tabs which will be inserted into the case. For the locking mechanisms, cut two small pieces into your desired shape making them a bit long so you can tape them to the case. Wrap all three pieces in aluminum tape. At the top of one box side, mark the placement of the handles and cut slits to accommodate the two ends and slip the handle into them. Bend the tabs over and secure them with aluminum tape. Attach the two sides together with another piece of aluminum tape. Use adhesive foam squares to secure one half of the tab to one side of the case. On the second half of the locking mechanism, place one half of your Velcro. On the opposing side of the case, place the other half of the Velcro. Be sure the two line up. Repeat for the other tab, and you've got yourself an attaché case. Although these demonstrations are meant to act as low-budget, craft-like alternatives, sometimes it's best just to go buy the real thing. I bought this poker chip set for about $20 at the toy store. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.